dips are another dynamite movement that I took a liking to in my basement. I remember the original bench that I had, you could take the, the posts out, move them inward, and they had handles, and you could uh, do dips off the back of the bench. And that was one of my favorite, favorite things, things to do because the way that it hit my shoulders, my chest, my triceps, um, I thought it was just an awesome movement, and it's something that I've continued with ever since. Um, there's different grips, you know, just like with anything else. You'll see some some parallel bars well, that aren't, aren't quite parallel. <laughs> you know, they'll be on an angle. You'll see others that are, in fact, parallel, some more narrow, some wider. And it's like with anything else. You can try them all, see which, see what you like best, um, and you can even change them up from time to time, you know, for a different variation. Um, but they're, they're all effective, and uh, it's a movement that I definitely recommend. You know, on, on this movement, similar to Skull Crushers, you'll notice that the elbows are definitely flared out a little bit. Um, for me, that's just what feels natural. Um, feel free, you know, as, as you build strength and endurance with this exercise, if you want to add weight, you know, they make, they make chains, you know, it's a belt with a chain that comes off it where you could uh, hook a plate on it so to add, add more resistance. Um, I make a point you know, on the negative portion of the rep to descend very slow, uh, just because it's, it seems it feels a little bit safer, as opposed to being a little bit more ballistic. Uh, <laughs> it could be a little bit dangerous. So I would recommend, as with anything, a controlled, a controlled movement. You want to go slow on the negative and then explode, um, you know, explode upward. That'd probably be the preferred way to do it.